No, no, no. I was just going to say it really is just educating them because honestly, not a lot of people know that we exist. And that's all we're here. And then right. that we're free. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> you know, just those two things together is really... I, I'm sorry, not free. No cost service. No cost service. <laughs> no cost service. <laughs> right, right, right. Because free just people think yeah. cheap, but right. But you get paid just from the, the community. Correct. Okay. We do get paid, yeah. but it's just that the, the people that we're helping, we don't have to charge them. Right. That's perfect. So when I sat through your presentation at mm -hmm. the office, mm -hmm. like, I don't know if you saw, like, I just started right going to town on my little oh, remarkable. No, I, was, I was so, like, focused on okay, good. one person. I was <laughs> yeah, I was so embarrassed. Like, I hope nobody watching me up here. Oh, uh, no, that's fantastic. Just everything you were saying was just, like, new. So I love, like, new information, things I never knew before. Like, I'm just big yeah. on just learning because that's yeah. my group, the Investor Property Guru Solutions Group. So yeah, we right. find problems, and you guys are solving a big problem. Right. Um. All right, so first, just kind of like why I wanted you to come here, and then we'll get all into okay, it. Okay. So one problem I would always encounter is sometimes I would have to sell a property or help someone just advise on what they should do because it's too big. It's too expensive. They just can't take care of it on their own. Mm -hmm. um, it's, you know, so I can sell the property, but after it's sold, now what? I have to help the person in it find something that works. Right. And the biggest thing is none of us know what they need. So I guess... How did you, number one, how did you come into starting Care Patrol? Mm -hmm. And how, you know what, let's start over. Let's just do an intro and then let okay. you just lead okay. it. And I'll plug that in somewhere else. Okay, so okay. we're here with Care Patrol. And I just wanted to first see how you started it, how you got into it, and just mm -hmm. tell me what you do and who you serve. And I will ask you questions through it. But you don't okay. have to be so uh, formal with it. Just. Okay. Well, for me, Nikki is the one that actually brought me into Care Patrol, so I'll let her tell that story right. how yes. we got into it. So I've been in the business and the care industry my entire life, mm -hmm. and um, about a year and a half ago, my dad was going through um, bone cancer, lung cancer, and I realized at that point that there was no one to advise us what the next, next steps were. Mm -hmm. He was at Cleveland Clinic, and we didn't know where do we go. He, um, we weren't familiar with hospice, what those choices were, weren't familiar with what assisted living was, what that meant for him, who was fiercely independent, and what the choices were. So I was working a full-time job at the time, so my sisters took the lead. And for the first time in my life, I realized there's something that I don't understand. And I didn't have the time, um, and time was of the essence, to even understand w how to help. So um, unfortunately, he ended up passing away, but it was through that experience that I realized there has to be people to guide people in an educated manner. So I went on a self-discovery, what can I do to help people in this situation? And then I found Care Patrol. So the great thing about Care Patrol is that it's been in business over 30 years. Mm. So it was founded by a social worker who 30 years ago said there must be a better way. He wasn't helping his older adults the way that he knew they needed to be helped, so he founded Care Patrol. So it is a franchise. Mm -hmm. There's over 200 franchises in the United States, and now we've opened up in Canada, and that's what we do. So we're there to assist families find the best and safest independent care, assisted living, memory care, and in-home care, and explain to them what those options are. Um, the best thing about Care Patrol is that it is a no-cost service, so it's free to our clients, and the reason that is is because the different um, assisted living communities, they pay us a commission just like a realtor would. Okay. So we work with all 300 communities in Broward County. We're not, we don't steer people just towards one, but what we do is look at the care and violation history. Mm -hmm. So we only work with those who have good care and violation history. What that means is that the state of Florida through ACA goes out and they do inspections and surveys. Those surveys, should there be something that they're deficient in, it's written down and it's known. We go to the state of Florida, investigate that, and if someone is not in good standing, then that's not a community that we're going to work with, regardless of what their incentives may be to pay us. Okay. Um, okay. So oh, yeah. That's not yeah. all right. Let's mm -hmm. let's break it down right. from there, yes. <laughs> and then we'll because you're gonna take the whole podcast now. All right. right. So <laughs> when it comes into looking into like the the history and all that, I guess how did they determine that was a need? Because like, what are you looking for exactly? Is it just lawsuits or is it complaints? Is it what am I looking at as far as, like, an ACA and the surveys? Yeah, like, when you're just, I guess, what's the due diligence for, say, sure. I'm looking for a 
right. facility for my loved one, I don't know okay. what I'm looking for. So right. what are you looking for when you're doing these due diligence Right. Surveys? So I'm looking to make sure that they're in compliance with what the guidelines are for the state of Florida. Okay. Uh, one of the big ones is med management. Were there mm. medication errors? Was someone given uh. medication, right, was someone given medication that they, they shouldn't have been given? Were they given an incorrect dosage? Were they given someone else's medication? Because you have the med techs are walking around with these carts, and the carts have everyone's medication on it. Mm -hmm. So what are the protocols that they're using to ensure that their residents are getting the proper medication? And when they're doing the survey, sometimes they find out perhaps Medicaid medication dropped on the cart. Mm -hmm. The person walked away. Medication still there. How, how do you know? So there's safeguards regarding all that information. So that's where ACA comes in. They make sure that they're following the proper protocol. Okay. And there's guidelines. Yeah. So that's one of our big things is med management. Yeah. Was there um, a death that couldn't be explained? Oh, um, was that's, there any that's kind recorded. Like oh, absolutely. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. Is there any kind of elder abuse? Was there okay. any? Because so once a, a year they do the actual surveys and they come in. Mm -hmm. But if people file a complaint, ALCA goes out for the complaints also. So when I go to the state of Florida, I can see that it was listed. They've had six complaints in the past year that they've investigated. Mm -hmm. So I look into each of those complaints and see what was that complaint about and how did they solve it. What does ACA stand for again? What's ACA? Yeah, I know you're not doing that. <laughs> oh, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll cut it out. We'll look it out. We'll look it out. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. No, that's all good. Okay, yeah, so that, I think that's probably – nah, we all good. I think that's probably the biggest thing people look into because that's your biggest worry with using these facilities. Like, right. you hear about the abuse. You hear about they're not feeding sure. them. They don't check right. on them. So, like, how does that work? Like, is there a doctor that comes in and, like, has a routine or – how th does everyone get their own? Do we, would you know that much into it, or like, I do. like does that matter? Right. What, of like, what it doctor does. they use? You know, it does. So, okay. um, a lot of times, depending on how large the community is. So, remember, in South Florida, we have residential communities. Uh -huh. Those are six bed residential homes down the street. Could be in down Sunrise Boulevard. Yeah. Um, those are six bed. Usually, they have a doctor that would come in every Friday, every other Friday, once a month, whatever it may be. And then for those specialists, cardiologists, podiatrists, you would have to send your clients or your residents out for that. Mm -hmm. In the larger communities, they have on-site, okay. on-site primary, on-site cardiologists, podiatry, so that everything can be done in-house. Okay. And depending on how, how much you like your doctor and how much you don't want to lose them, mm -hmm. that's going to be weigh in on whether or not you choose that as a community. Now, yeah. it's always an option whether you, you want to do that or not, but let's face it, convenience is key sometimes. So to have all those in-house doctors there and, and readily available at your disposal is a convenient choice for a lot of people. Okay. So on a different note, being that it's a no-charge service, does that like limit the places people can get into or like how does that work or is it just anywhere you go you have a way to just you know i don't okay, know so if that makes sense okay so i think what you're asking is how do people afford the assisted living no like no? It, is there like a set amount a set list of communities that's willing to work with uh care patrol or can care patrol work with any facility that they can find yeah because I understand. Because uh -huh. we're an extension of their marketing team, in essence, we are promoting them. Uh -huh. We work with all 300, over 300 communities in Broward County. Okay. Uh, again, the only no one doesn't work with us. They all use us, and we're not the only ones in Broward County. Senior placement advisors um, is what we all do. We're advising seniors on what to do. Care Patrol offers a little extra care when it comes to that, uh -huh. and that's something I want to stress. So we're not sending a list out. You're not putting our name into a search engine and we're just sending the closest 10 assisted livings to you. No. We literally go to your house and we do what's called a care discovery. Mm -hmm. So we're asking, what type of community would you like to be in? What are your care needs? What's important to you? Mm -hmm. And tell us about you so that we can best match them. And then, of course, budget. So assisted living is primarily paid by private funds mm -hmm. um, unless they have Medicaid long-term care. That's right. going to pay a little bit or veterans aid in attendance. So so we ask them those questions. We, did you ever serve in the armed services? Tell us about that. We look and we see, can we get them additional funding due to their service that they had? Um, or mm -hmm. if they really don't have a lot of income and they qualify for Medicaid, then we'll go ahead and put them in touch with a Medicaid specialist that can get them that qualification and then in essence give them that additional, it could be sometimes up to 1900 a month mm -hmm. towards assisted living. Okay. And you guys negotiate all of that. So they just... You we help them. So oh, okay, we're, okay. we're a resource in the community. So if Got someone it. calls us 
and we get paid on the private pay placements. We do not get paid for a Medicaid placement, mm -hmm. but we're still here as a resource to the community. So we do help them, okay. guide, guide them along, and give them those resources that they need mm -hmm. um, because typically the family's in crisis, and we yeah. want it, we're problem solvers. We want to solve yeah. a problem that they have. That's so why I like this. Yes. That's why I like yeah. this. We're problem solvers. Right. That, okay. That's what we do. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I'll be honest with you. This morning, I got a I was helping a gentleman out, and mm -hmm. the person behind me heard me talking, mm -hmm. and he's like, can you help my homeless? I know a lady. She's homeless with three kids under the age of three. Give mm -hmm. her my number. I'll, yeah. I'll figure it out. Yeah. So we are in touch with so many different resources that if I can help people, that's what we'll do. We are actually having that conversation mm -hmm. here. Like, I think that Julie and I, we've discovered what our passion is in life mm -hmm. and it's definitely we've always liked to help people yeah but this has narrowed in on helping the most vulnerable in our community which really is the older adults yeah, yeah. so we're excited about that okay yeah. this drives me a few places okay. first off you're a realtor too julie so and that's kind of why i'm doing real estate because my passion is to help people so it's like how can i make a career just being helpful like right. just solving people's problems right. like get me khalid you know yes. that's how i want i want a red phone right yeah. um <laughs> so i guess I lost my question of getting excited for that one more than my actual yeah, right. question. Right. But, oh, I remember. Which one of you brought up the silver tsunami at the presentation? Was it Nikki, the silver yeah. tsunami? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So you did say that Florida is going to have the highest count of concentration. But not only that, but Broward County is going to be – you guys are in Broward. So right. it's great that if someone's in Broward in this highest concentration that they're going to get to work with the actual people that we're having this discussion with. Right. So um, – Okay, I remember. Who is Care Patrol really for? Is it just an age thing, or is it, you know, like... Well, so Care Patrol, because we're assisting families with finding assisted living, generally you're talking about a 65 and over population. Mm -hmm. um, that doesn't discount those who are younger. If I get a call from my hospital and they have a 45-year-old blind man that has diabetes that needs proper care, mm -hmm. then, again, we're going to be a resource to them. So we're there for our families. We're also there for our... Um, case managers, case workers, hospital um, discharge planners to help them with the clients that they have. But primarily we are talking about older adults okay. who need yeah. safer living options because that's what, at the core, that's what we do is find a safer living option for older adults. Got it. Okay, so in more cases than not, you go to their property, like wherever they are at the moment, and that's where you do your intake, in, your consultation. In all cases. Unless in all okay. yeah, Unless they're out of state. Uh -huh. Like our what we do is very hands hand holding. Yeah. So we're gonna go, we're gonna get to learn know who they are and then also show them we're in South Florida. Mm -hmm. Honestly, this is like the land of the scammers. It really, really is. Yeah. So we like to go out there, they can see the signs on my car, they can see my business card, they can see I have a website. Mm. I walk them through it. So I want them to know like I'm a real person who's here to help you. Yes. Um I'm not a fly by night company. I'm here, I'm here to stay in Broward County. So I wanna reassure them who we are. You know, and yeah. to make that right. connection. If it's over the phone, let me tell you something. I was at I was at a, a client discovery yesterday at her house, and within the two hours I was there, she received 27 phone calls. I started keeping track of them because I'm like, this is insane. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have a cell phone, so every single call goes to her home phone, and it was one after another, people trying to scam her. Yeah. And so I could just be another person on the phone, so it's really important to us to make that personal mm -hmm. connection. Mm -hmm. When it's time for them to choose an assisted living community, we are, again, back out at their house or a skilled nursing home, wherever it may be, and we are going to pick them up. Let's go look at the places that you chose because we're giving them choices. Now you tell me what you think resonates with you. Let's go do a tour. And if I have to push them in the wheelchair because that's what they prefer, that's what I do. And they're looking at the community, mm. so it's driven by them. It's what okay. their preference or their family's preference yeah. is. But when they're, yeah. And you pick them up. So I imagine like your vehicle's wheelchair accessible that you use for carriage, carriage patrol? Well, mm -hmm. I mean, it's not, it's wheelchair accessible, not scooter accessible. Yes. Oh, so okay. I have, both of us have SUVs. That's smart. Um, that's so cool. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So I have to, that's yeah. my workout for the day. That honestly. makes perfect Yeah, that's yeah. great. Like it, I, yeah, that's what I do. Okay, so it sounds like a very – so what I'm, how I'm seeing this is just as a young person, just like – because I have a single parent, and I'm sure a lot of people here in Brown County have single – so you're yeah. just thinking about that fear, like you have to get my, my own life in order so when my mom gets older, like I can just take care of her, but you just have that fear, like what am I going to do if I can't? Mm -hmm. So I imagine in that moment it's just a very stressful time just like – having to choose and look at places like one you wants to look at places online the other is, you know like so you guys come in and just take that stress out of it is right. what i'm hearing here so it's like 
I don't have to worry about dragging her and like you know like not right. to say like this is my plan, but just like it's important to know that this is an option to make it smoother of a process and a safer right. of a process. Exactly. Right. Okay, so on the note of I guess growth, like where do you like what's your plan here? Like as far as care patrol, like do you see like this is your thing? Like you just okay rephrase the question <laughs> okay you're in real estate i am okay mm-hmm. care patrol i can see a great connection here so when it comes to if someone has to sell a property or they have a property that's just too much for them mm-hmm. how does that go like do you first kind of talk to them and see if it's right for them to sell it or you know like i guess can you do you step in mm-hmm. and advise in that extra st- okay what is that like what is that conversation like so absolutely um it depends if they have a property that they may need to sell in order to pay for the assisted living community mm-hmm. so they don't um, outlive their money basically we help them budget you know what they need to mm-hmm. be able to afford it um, sometimes selling the home is not always the answer mm-hmm. maybe renting it out it just depends on what the family wants if there's no family involved and it's just a senior then maybe selling the home really is and timing is important as you know scheduling a closing based off of a move-in as well Mm -hmm. we help transition them so um so everything goes seamlessly okay you know i like it's a good it's a good connection you got going on there absolutely okay but also we spoke and then if someone does already have a realtor like you also do the non-compete and you'll let them work with their realtor of choice. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. That's important to know. Just because yes. like it's just such a good connection because yep. we as realtors we want to sell as many properties as possible, but you still right. have to stop and look at the circumstance of every property you're putting on the market. You can't just try to sell it and then be like you got to be on in 30 days, you know? Right. So it's important that you guys can step in and just work all together as a team and I love that there's a realtor on the care patrol team so it's right. like you get another realtor mm-hmm. on here it's because like I can run things by you like hey how's this gonna affect what we got going absolutely I like absolutely. that and I like we're that. a resource to the yeah. agents as well we really do help the agents because they are an extra added value to the families mm-hmm. because knowing that you can come in and say I got you I can help you with all of this mm-hmm. not just selling your home but help guide you what you can do for mom or for dad um selling their home so it's really we are a value to the agents and then in turn the agents are value to their clients as well you know and again no cost is great already they have a lot in their plate Mm -hmm. so knowing that you have a trusted company to work with and that we're not charging anything it really does you and know, it just makes the value and it makes their agent look better just bringing you in because Absolutely. it's like the first thing they're going to talk about is the Absolutely. closing cost commission is like how much right. is this going to cost me so right. it's like i got you i like right. that okay and it really is knowing that you can trust us that's yeah. the biggest thing because you can advise on any company and say here here you go but truly we really are a good trust again care patrol has been around for 30 years yeah so just tying this with the news, the, the like, what do you? Re- I don't know if you memorized the numbers of the stats of the changes coming of the ratio mm-hmm. of elderly to I don't know what the other number reference just coming to South Florida within the next twenty years. And yeah, so within the next twenty years, one out of every four um, people living in Broward will be over the age of sixty-five. One in four. One in four. Yeah. So this is that tsunami we're talking about. So it's yeah. those baby boomers who are aging um, incrementally, you know, over they're, they're 65, 75, 85. And we know that the cost of condos and what's happening in the condo market mm-hmm. is even pushing people out of South Florida. So our whole goal is how do we keep people in South Florida? They might not be able to afford that condo anymore. So having them really understand what is independent living and what independent living looks like. Mm -hmm. Like I try to explain to people, don't think of your great grandma's or your grandmother's nursing home. That's Mm -hmm. not what assisted living is. Assisted living or even independent living is a high rise on Fort Lauderdale Beach. Mm -hmm. It's a fabulous place in Weston and it caters to their desires and their needs as a community. So if you're Mm -hmm. into pickleball or you like to play cards, there's communities for all of that. If you were an Olympic swimmer and you want a swimming pool, Mm -hmm. then that's the kind of things that we help them with. But mostly it's the affordability Mm -hmm. and so that they can rest assured they're not going to outlive their money because that's the biggest fear that they have is outliving their money. So 
Um, we do all of that budgeting for them. We negotiate when we're doing the leases with the assisted living. We also negotiate rent increases. Like, can you, a lot of people are using what's called long-term care insurance. So these uh -huh. are policies they purchased 20, 30, 40 years ago. They have a cap on them. So when I go with my clients that have those long-term care policies, what? I have I them right, yeah, I have them right in the contract that their rent would never exceed X amount because that way that older adult can feel comfortable knowing they're okay because we're very big on aging in place right so i don't yeah. want you to go to a location then all of a sudden the rent you know too you can't high. afford it right. right so then you have to age. so oh my gosh that's why like my little tag here says yeah. aging in place specialist look at that i don't want you to move right so right. if you are having signs of dementia yeah but it's not it's not really affecting you too much right now with your activities of daily living mm -hmm. let's get you into a community that you'll start off in maybe even independent living during your journey, you'll go to assisted, but then should your dementia progress, then let's go ahead and you'll have memory care in place. So you're never having to leave the community that you know, I the caregivers know. that wow. you trust, and you're mm -hmm. truly aging in place. And that's really important. That is important. I didn't know, that's a yes. huge problem because so many people are, a lot of these listings are because they're on fixed incomes, something changed, and now they're like, right. I don't know what to do. I gotta right. sell this condo. Sure. The South Florida condo market doesn't mm -hmm. really mix well with South Florida having the highest population of people that would fit perfectly into right. some of these condo. You know what I'm saying? Like right, right. the 55 com com condominiums are built just for this, but a whole bunch of the 55 and up condos are just mm -hmm. not performing well numbers wise. Right. There's a okay. This just opened up a whole like realm to. I'm sorry. I don't know if you it's got okay. time for this, but we have time for anything. Okay, no, perfect. We're good. we're good. All right. So how did you figure out about this whole insurance thing? Because I didn't even know. That. Can we just go into that? Like, what does it like? How did you find out about it? What does it cover? Is about this long term new? care insurance? Yeah. Is this new? Yeah. So it's a com it's a common thing with older adults. It's not new at all. So you would contact like say your local insurance agent, mm -hmm. and the common policy right now, like if you're asking about yourself, is what people are doing is they're pairing up a life insurance policy with a long term care policy and mm -hmm. combining those together okay. so it's a joint policy so that when you reach 7 70 75 80 85 and you might need additional care that you don't want to burden your children with that policy will kick into place that's so, so crazy yeah so th i guess that's the problem we all have is we're not planning ahead we just of wait until exactly. the situation comes right. up it's like oh crap we gotta figure it out right now mm -hmm. that's right yeah. so you guys aren't just here helping people find places to live mm -hmm. this is a whole we're educating people on what the world of assisted living is and then all those different components because, so long-term care policies, yes, we know about those and we can definitely assist people with getting those or reading what their policy is about. But guess what? You're going into assisted living, you need an elder law attorney to help you with power of attorney, medical proxy, what? but you need this stuff. What? So <laughs> again, <laughs> it comes back to Julie and Nikki, yeah. like we're that resource that you're gonna need these things. I yeah. have, don't worry about it, I got it for you. So is there like a Get, CPA on the team and all of that too? Like this is organization team, here. So this is yeah, we're, we're all about relationship building and yeah. trusting people. Uh -huh. So we go out in the community, um, we, we network a lot, and we find people that are gonna be resources for our older adults that we can trust. Mm -hmm. People who've been doing this for not just last week, but they've been doing this for a while. Yeah. Right. Uh, we follow up on references, and then we're communicating with them constantly. Right. So whether it be an elder law attorney that you're going to need, right, because you have yeah. to get this power of attorney in mm -hmm. place. If you need a mover, now you have to downsize. I met a great person the other day, local. She was working on assisted living, and she realized who's helping them downsize when they have to move out of their larger house or condo. So yeah. this is what she's she's now decided this is what she's going to do. Okay. So it's having those different resources that can help um, older adults. So that's why we say we're like resource central. You come mm -hmm. to us, even if you're planning on this a year a year ahead and you want to see what's out there. Mm -hmm. We'll go, we'll do the tours, we'll help you out, but we'll help you get those ducks in a row yeah. so that you can make an educated decision. Oftentimes, however, it's people are calling us in a time of crisis. Yeah. It's a discharge planner that needs now. to move someone out tomorrow. Yeah. It's right. the parent that fell for the third time. But that's not um, what that's not what you were established for. Like that's not your you're not, you know what I'm saying? Like, you weren't developed to help crisis situations. You were uh, developed we, to we, help overall. We are. We're for oh. both. For yeah. both. I see. I so see. It's, okay. it's, it's a relaxation when I have people who are planning. But Got oftentimes, it. oh. it's when not. I, yeah. It's not. It's when I have adult children in New York calling me because mom is not safe down here. Yeah. That's what mm -hmm. we're about. So typically, our, our like usual call is mom's in rehab. She's not safe to go home. Mm -hmm. What can you do? Or the rehab calling us, listen. 
they're living in is not safe environment. They shouldn't go home by themselves. Can you come here and talk to them about what their options are? Mm. So we're within 24 hours. Someone calls us. We're going to go out to the, to the rehab, cool. to the hospital. Mm-hmm. Pull up. That's we're, cool. we're really, I mean, we're local <laughs> girls. So yeah. I always tell people, I was born and raised in Miami. I've been in Broward for the past 30 years. Yeah. Um, Julie's in Cooper City for the past since she was five years old. Nice. So I we're like local people yeah. that know the area, mm-hmm. know the community that we work with, love mm-hmm. the diversity that we're in, yeah. and able to assist them. So I do have someone on my team that's um, bilingual. Okay. So if I have someone call me and they need someone to speak Spanish, he's bilingual. Okay. So we, we have all those resources to really be the best person for them to call when they're in yeah. a time of crisis mm-hmm. or if they're pl- I wish people would plan yeah. but you don't you don't all, you can't plan yeah. this is all outreach pl- this is already doing this yeah that's yes. already right. doing this yeah. okay right. yeah that's cool all right so yeah. I guess like how do okay so I just see a big opportunity in this for realtors who want to work better with the elderly population mm-hmm. personally that's one of my goals going into this because I'm planning next year for now right. Right. and I just want to find out like okay how can I just be more I don't know how to say this Proactive. Uh, n- proactive mm-hmm. to make sure that when the silver tsunami starts coming and mm-hmm. majority of my clients are over 75, how can I make sure that my business accommodates that? So I'm just trying to make sure that I'm doing little things like my business cards, I've been trying to make them all luxurious and fancy and they're like mm-hmm. black on gold. Everyone can read that. So I'm like, let's go right, with right. nice, clear, big font. You know, right. like let's just make yeah. it as like, like to the point. So we're mm-hmm. building a, a big like educational thing. So I'm putting together like open houses where we also talk about like estate planning because another big issue I'm finding is people want to leave their property to this one child. They have multiple, but you live, it, this is your house. Right. They go by that and now we're in closing and no one agrees with it. And right. there's, you know, so you have to do that the right way. And just people that want to invest, how to invest right. the right way, what the homesteads are. So that's kind of what I'm going for. So how do realtors best connect with Care Patrol and I guess best make start that relationship with you guys? Well, we're starting here with you. Okay, we're yes. Hoping okay. to get our name out there more. Um, mm-hmm. We're hoping to meet with the board at some point mm-hmm. and really to do more educational events, whether it be Zoom or, or mm-hmm. in-person classes. Mm-hmm. Um, for us personally, we're trying to target a lot of the 55 and older communities so we can educate them yeah. on what to do and pinpointing the agents that, like going through the MLS and seeing who are the primary agents that are dealing with those 55 and older mm-hmm. communities and speaking with them and educating them. But um, it really is just getting our name out there as much as we can. We network as much as we can to really you know, educate everyone yeah. on this. But Things like this podcast yeah. really is is a help to okay. getting you know getting that not a lot of people understand yeah. that we're, we're even here you know or yeah. or what the process is yeah so I'm trying I to be a resource you, so you're doing a fantastic job doing Thank that you. no we really appreciate no of that course for sure I mean anywhere in Broward or Miami Dade if you enter in Care Patrol it's mm-hmm. gonna come up with with our mm-hmm. name. So um, we work in Broward and Miami-Dade. Anyone can call us directly at the 954-380-8780 number. Mm -hmm. I answer my phone 24-7. I literally do because people need my help. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if they call, I'm going to help them. If a realtor calls and they need to try to navigate a Mm -hmm. situation that they're unfamiliar with, they can reach out to Julie or I, and we'll help them with those steps. Mm-hmm. We'll immediately send out, you know, an email, giving them the resources, estate planners. Estate planning is a big thing, yeah. and we have those people as well because people, older adults, need to figure out what they're going to do. Mm-hmm. And it's not just them at play. It's you have, you know, family members. Um, figuring all that out can sometimes mm-hmm. be difficult. So we try to give them as many resources as possible to be able to figure it out before a crisis happens. This is a really big opportunity, I feel, like, brewing here between Care Patrol and Realtors. Mm -hmm. I think we should figure out, because I just, I'm really big on trying to put together events, so I just want us to, like, figure out some type of event we can put together for both Realtors and the public. Yeah. Probably the public. The public. Yeah, we we try to get our name out there as much as possible, so Mm -hmm. I'm always open to doing any type of care er, co-marketing so that we can get you know the realtors out there working with us and really try to feel like where the synergy is between Mm -hmm. the two Mm -hmm. um there's some obvious synergy you have an older person that needs to sell their house they have somewhere they need to go we're going to help them with that um i think it's a great thing for realtors to know that they can count on us to immediately handle that stress for the family so that their closing and their sale can go well they can focus on what they do Mm -hmm. i can focus on or we can focus on what we do which is taking care of that older adult in the safest way possible yes right i've just in real estate just out showing other people's listings 
the most cringeworthy thing I'll see is just when you go show a property and it's just the one other person by themselves and just the agents right. come in and it's like, hey, I'm, you know, just like just the way they like treat them right. and you can tell like right. it's just, yeah. it's just nice to know that there can be realtors out there that come in specifically for situations like right. this. Like, mm-hmm. hey, I know what to do with this situation. Right. Let's call Care Patrol then. Right. Yeah. And then we'll do the list and presentation together. Yeah. That'd be yes. cool. Come Absolutely. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, I'm excited. Okay. Educating the community. It there really is the, there is the resource. Right. I mean, yeah. there's opportunity with Care Absolutely. Patrol and realtors. You guys yeah. will. Absolutely. You're there. You will yeah. come. You will show up. Yes. Care Patrol shows up. Yeah. Oh, oh Care Patrol does show up. They show up on time. <laughs> <laughs> on time. They're on time. On time. Yes, yes. That's great. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was late. Yeah. Yes. And there's two of us. Yeah. yeah. Three. It's so we're yeah. Yeah. we can, you know, go wherever. Yeah. How needed. did you learn financial like advising? Like did you take like a class or something? Or, like I'm just financial advising. Not advise not advising, but just like how do you how did you get this huge knowledge base you have here? Like did you get into Care Patrol and they taught you all of this? Or it sounds so like you had a back story. Much like you. Yeah. I, well, I have a background in business management and uh-huh. I've been in operations literally since I was 16 years old. Yeah. It's what I've done. So, but I have a, I have a, a real thirst and knowledge for being able to learn and empower other people. Yeah. That's always been my thing. I've, I, I, from back in the day, I said, if I could just set up an office with a table, and if you have a question about anything, come to me, and I'm going to figure it out. Why? Because the red yeah. I, yeah, I, God has blessed me with the ability to be able to solve problems, and I really yes. do truly like ah, to do that. Right. Yes. Mm-hmm. So as much as I can learn about things, I do. Mm-hmm. Does Care Patrol train us? 100%. They don't just say, here, you bought the franchise, and you're on your own. No. Right. Yeah. I was four months in, in back and forth between um, here in South Florida and Arizona mm-hmm. doing that training, getting the certifications that, that we should really get which the big one is being a certified senior advisor Mm -hmm. not every senior advisor is a certified senior advisor Mm -hmm. so we go through this certification so that we do know the terminology to use for older adults Mm -hmm. how to interact with them um, about estate planning it touches on little things and then it's up to us to go ahead and run with it so we look to our experts in the field because we know uh, we do know about the entire industry i'm not Mm -hmm. an expert in financial planning but I have experts in financial planning that I'm going to go to. So I use my resources for mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So it's, I think, just a thirst for knowledge. And then, honestly, like, I own Care Patrol together with Julie. Mm-hmm. And I've always had, like, business mind and solving problems. And, like, my corporate name is Duo Group. That stands yeah. for Do Unto Others. Like, that's just been, like, resonating in my head that's since cool. I was young. Yeah. So I'm glad that, like, that's what I can do. But that's the overriding sense that I do and values that I go by is that, in fact, we just had this this the other day happen, so she knows what I'm going to say. Yeah. Yesterday I was doing a care discovery on a couple, and uh-huh. they need to downsize from their condo in Fort Lauderdale. And he says to me, Nikki, who's, name your favorite aunt or uncle. And I was thinking, I'm like, okay, my Aunt Kathy. Mm-hmm. And I said, why do you ask? He goes, well, I want you to treat me like you would your Aunt Kathy. And I okay. said, I'm going to one-up you, though. Yeah, there you go. I said, because Julie and I have something in common. Not mm-hmm. a nice thing in common, but we have something in common. Mm-hmm. Right. We both lost our fathers, mm-hmm. both of us. So mm-hmm. I said, I'm going to treat you like I would my father. That's and that's true. always been our way. When yeah. we have different clients, I treat them as if what I'd want for my own family member. That's what we would want. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Of co- and that, but that's sincerely what we do Mm -hmm. it's not passing a list and getting a paycheck absolutely not like i said we're there and moving you can look at the testimonials we have on google i'm there after Mm moving if someone's having a difficult time we're checking up on our clients that we place weekly to make sure are you okay is there anything that you need is this really the right community for you is there anything you don't like so that we can address those concerns before it maybe gets out of control so it's the continued follow-up with both the families, the resident that we place, just seeing how we can be of service. I so often just see them like at closing. Like when we're under contract, that's when right. they want to start figuring out making the arrangements. Right. right. Yeah. I want to start doing like just events on like one thing at a time. Cause my what I'm so excited about is I right. my plan was to sit here and figure out things I can do to just make my experience better. Mm-hmm. But you already know, like you have the. So I just got to get with you guys mm-hmm. and like we'll just combine resources i'm excited this is gonna be great yeah okay cool this is gonna be it um i had another question but i lost it explaining that okay. i can't multitask and you know okay, that's the yeah. thing that i do <laughs> the mind is going yeah I get it. that's okay I, i'm still worried about her disclosing who her favorite aunt is that oh, yeah i was, I was, I was out the way i was like i don't family. know if she got other okay. aunts or uncles but it's okay no i'm teasing i have one aunt so I'm <laughs> oh good good okay good that's special yeah. that's special yeah. that's yeah. what makes it good yeah. all right cool well i appreciate you guys coming i don't want to no. take too much of your time but we should do this again like we can make this a thing when we learn something new yeah absolutely 
Yes. As we approach the silver tsunami, oh, oh that chasing coming. the silver tsunami, it's I like coming. it. We're, we're chasing the silver tsunami. Oh, no, we're ahead of the silver tsunami. We're, yeah, like we're, we're, pre- yeah, we're, we're prepared, we're though. Like, yeah. We're yeah. ready for it. Yeah. Our feet are, are firmly planted in Broward and Miami Dade with mm-hmm. all of our resources mm-hmm. ready. Yeah. Um, there's assisted living communities opening up almost on I like a month like you do right yes. i'm just looking like that's a nice condo right. and i'm like right a facility what yes. you know so i'm reading yes. the buildings i'm like this right. is amazing like what's going on here so right. i just want to make sure that i'm like capable of when a 55 and up client comes along they, they have the best experience possible working right. with us yes. right exactly us. yeah yeah we're, we're now part of your team yes so yeah. When yeah. You exactly need, yeah when you need that resource you call us and you know you can handle the real estate deal and right. we can handle Right, wherever their forever home is going yeah. to be. Yeah, because naturally I feel like people will be like, oh, but she's a realtor, I don't want, but you don't care. You want to no. do your care patrol. No. I'm care, my care goal patrol. is to, exactly. You're just a, another real seat. estate mind that we can ask questions Correct. to along the way. And I would love to come on Perfect. the listing appointments with you guys. Yeah. Same as Nikki. And that would be great. And we're that extra support yep. because there's so many unanswered You're coming. questions. This is happening. The okay. Next time it's relevant. Next time yeah. it's relevant, I'm gonna call you. This is yeah. going down. Yeah. All right. Oh, we're gonna do videos. Oh, we're gonna be. All right. This is gonna be great. We're gonna yeah. do things. Okay. Be, yeah. You guys saw it here first. Something's happening here. Yeah. All right. Yes, exactly. I don't have a name for this podcast. I don't know where I'm gonna upload it, but we're okay. out. Oh, did we say contact information? Contact so, information. So yeah, contact information. Mm-hmm. It's um, you can go to carepatrol.com. It's mm-hmm. going to ama- automatically pop up with Julie or Nikki. Um, our phone numbers are there. The main number is the nine five four three eight zero eight seven eight zero, and that's it. It's pretty easy by phone, mm-hmm. by email. You show up. Website will be there. Yeah. Google, yeah. 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 We show up. Care Patrol. We That's all up. you need to just remember we is the name Care Patrol. I can't forget it. And if you're in Broward or Miami Dade, <laughs> you'll find us because um, these are the counties that we work in. Also, yeah. I don't even know if there's another company like this. So it's great that we don't know if there's more, but it's great that the one we do know no, is right. great. It's, yes. it's great. Thank yes. you so, for that. Yes. Of course. Yes. All right. So Care Patrol, the Investment yes. Party Gurus, out. Nice.